So you just finished installing Graphene OS and you are wondering how to back it up in case your device is lost or stolen. Luckily, Graphene OS comes with a built-in utility called Seed Vault. Seed Vault is an open source encrypted backup solution for Android-based devices. So in order to perform the backup, you're gonna need a few things. The first is your Android device running Graphene OS. The second is a USB-A to USB-C adapter, which we'll plug into the bottom of the phone. And the third is a USB memory stick, such as this. They say size doesn't matter, but you just need something that's big enough to store the data on your phone. So it's important to note that Seed Vault doesn't actually take a full image of your phone. It just backs up the apps, app data, and system settings on the device. So the actual backup size will be much smaller than the full install of Graphene OS. So now at this point, you wanna take your USB-C to USB-A adapter. You wanna plug in the USB drive as such. Take the USB-C end of that dongle and plug that into the phone. So now on the phone screen, we can swipe down. You might see something like this, depending on how your USB is formatted, issues with Kingston USB drive. We're gonna tap on that. It's important to note that formatting the USB drive will actually erase it completely. So make sure you don't have any other data on there that you actually need. So once you confirm that, go ahead and click on format USB. Give that a minute to finish. And at this point, our USB drive is ready to use. Click done. So in order to access the backup settings, we're going to swipe up. We're gonna go into settings, scroll down to system, select system. And here you will see backup off. Go ahead and select that. And this next page is your 12 word recovery code. This is basically the password to protect your backup. Some other backup solutions do not encrypt backups, but luckily Seed Vault does. So go ahead and record these 12 words somewhere safe. A password manager would be best, but if you need to write them down on a piece of paper, that also works. If you lose this password, it's not like you will lose access to your phone. It's just you will lose access to that backup. You can reset it at a later time, so if you do forget it, don't worry. But if you do need to use the backup, you need to have this 12 word recovery code. So once you do have that saved, go ahead and click on confirm code. And on this next screen, you actually need to type out the 12 words for the recovery code to confirm that you saved it correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this so you don't need to watch me type 12 words. So once you have typed out all those words, go ahead and click verify. If you typed it correctly, you'll see this next screen where you actually get to choose where you want the backup to be stored. So the first option is actually to back up the device to itself. I don't actually know what the reason is for that because if your phone is lost or stolen, then your backup's also stolen. So that seems kind of counterintuitive. If you know why this might be useful, feel free to leave that down below in the comments because I couldn't figure out a reason. So now we see that USB drive that we plugged in earlier. Go ahead and select that. The first thing it's going to do is initialize the backup drive. So it's going to kind of format it in a way that it, the system actually understands. So give this a few minutes to complete. So once that finishes, we are now presented with the backup settings. I mentioned earlier where you could reset the code or generate a new one if you forgot your recovery code. This is the screen where you do that. You would just click generate new code. You can also verify the code you recorded earlier if you need to. So now that we have these settings to actually back up, I'm gonna select back up my apps. It gives you a backup status, last backup, never. There's also a setting here to automatically restore the app data. I'm gonna leave that enabled as well. And the last setting here is app backup, which actually back up the apps. You don't need to re-download them from the app store. The last setting on here is to back up the actual storage on the phone, such as your photos or documents. Do note though that it says it's experimental. I'm gonna go ahead and enable that as well. It also shows you a warning here that this is experimental and do not rely on it for important data. So make sure you remember that, don't rely on this. Click enable anyway, and then select include files and folders. I'm gonna check photos and images, videos, audio files, downloads. You can also add custom locations with this blue button down here. So I'm gonna select that and then click on pictures. Use this folder. Allow Seed Vault to access pictures, allow. That should already be included in the photos and images up top, but just in case, I just added it manually. But again, remember this is experimental and the restore might not work. Once you have that, click back. So now all those settings are completed, go ahead and select the three dots in the top right hand corner and click on backup now. You can swipe down and we will see that Seed Vault is running the backup. This will take some time depending on how much data you have stored on your phone that needs to be backed up to the USB drive. So give that a few minutes to finish. So at this point, we can now see that the backup has finished. It says one of four apps backed up. Tap to learn more. So we can see in here that a few apps were not backed up because I did not recently use them. This is a clean install of Graphene OS on this device. Therefore, I didn't really use the apps recently. 
but on your phone, whatever apps you do use recently should show up here. So if we hit the back button, we can now see backup status, last backup one minute ago. 